Welcome to the Jeddah Street Circuit for what we hope is going to be a gripping day of racing. It's time to get underway as we join the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. An interesting circuit this one, the newest on the Formula One calendar. And like most street circuits, it's sure to present the drivers with an interesting technical challenge. Some challenging turns for the drivers to negotiate as well. And at the same time, they're going to have to manage their tyres very carefully in this heat. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? But from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle. And the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he starts from pole position. And Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Perez, Daniel Ricciardo and Leclerc. Sainz, Gasly, Fernando Alonso and Esteban Ocon, Sonoda, Vettel, Lance Stroll and Giovinazzi, Raikkonen, Russell, Mick Schumacher and Nicholas Latifi, Mazepin and Lando Norris starts from the back of the grid. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. work that brings you up a place
Okay, watch the aggression, please. We don't want to lose places because of a penalty. We can now use DRS. DRS now available. We have P12. Sonoda's just ahead. Push hard. The gap to the car ahead is 1.9 seconds. They're on fresh softs. Stroll is behind you. The gap to the car behind is 1.7 seconds. They're on fresh softs. The distance to the leader is 11.3 seconds. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Two laps left. Next time by will be your final lap. Front is 1.9 seconds. Final lap, final lap of the race. Race over, take care of the car on the way in.
So as they climb out of the car, the Red Bull team are ready and waiting to celebrate a thoroughly well-deserved win. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out on the track was today, speed. I know it sounds like an obvious thing to say, Crofty, but fast cars win races, and we saw that today with our winner. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to every one of the team. Some amazing talent out on the track today, but Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? I think for driver of the day, I'd probably pick Lando Norris. He lived up to every inch of his reputation today, and I think he'll be going home quite rightly a bit proud of himself. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.